United Nations has declared 2011 to 2012 the year of the bat. The campaign was launched last year as a way to strengthen efforts for protecting the world's only flying mammal. These creatures can be found in many parts of the world. Bats live in cities, deserts, grasslands, and forests. There are over 1,200 bat species. The smallest bat in the world is from Southeast Asia. The bumblebee bat measures about 30 millimeters in length. The world's largest bat, the giant golden-crowned flying fox, has a wingspan of one and a half meters. Most bats eat insects, but many feed on fruit or nectar from flowers. Many people think bats are blind, but this is not true. Many species have very good sight. Most bats communicate and find their way by making echolocation noises. They produce high-frequency noises and can estimate the distance of an object by using the sound echoes that bounce back to them. So, while bats may travel in total darkness, they see using sound. Sadly, bats are widely feared and misunderstood. Most bats come out of their shelters only at nightfall. Three bat species feed on blood. Because of these qualities, bats have long been linked in many cultures to death, darkness, and vampires. Yet bats are important for agriculture and our environment. They help pollinate plants and spread seeds. They also help control insects. Bats eat huge numbers of insects, including kinds that damage crops. For example, a brown bat can eat more than 1,000 insects the size of a mosquito in one hour. One report says bats save American farmers billions of dollars every year by reducing crop damage and limiting the need for chemicals that kill insects. The report was published earlier this year in Science magazine. Bats have also proved useful in the medical industry. Some bats carry a substance in their saliva that has been manufactured and used in medicine to help stroke victims. Over one-fifth of all bat species are under threat. They face disease and the human destruction of their natural environments. In the eastern United States, a disease called white nose syndrome has greatly damaged bat populations over the past five years. The organization Bat Conservation International says white nose syndrome has killed more than a million bats since it was discovered in a New York cave in 2006. In some areas, the disease has killed nearly 100 percent of bat populations. White nose syndrome has now spread to at least 19 other states and parts of Canada. The name of the disease comes from a white fungus found on the faces and wings of infected bats. The disease causes the creatures to awaken more often during hibernation, the period when they normally rest. Infected bats leave their shelters during winter and can freeze to death, or they may use up stored body fat and starve to death. 
Leslie Sturgis is doing what she can to save bats. She is the director of Bat World Nova, a bat protection group in the Washington, D.C. area. She cares for injured bats in the basement of her home. Then she releases them back into the wild. Uh, you hear a lot of people refer to bats as filthy, but they aren't. They groom like cats and dogs do. They use these toes back here to actually comb their fur out. Miss Sturgis also talks about the importance of bats during visits to schools and nature centers. Her goal is to support their protection by bringing attention to the good things that bats provide to people and the environment. She and her assistant are caring for about 30 injured, sick, or orphaned bats this summer. When the bats are healthy, she moves them to a closed-off area next to her home so they can learn once more how to fly. One of her bats is named Shaggy. She plans to release him, but first wants to make sure he eats well. When the sun sets, she sets him free. But he does not want to leave just yet. So I think what I'm going to do is probably put him back in and let him nap for an hour or so, and I'm going to try and release him again later on tonight because he has to go. He can't live here. But yeah. Ms. Sturgis says Shaggy has a good chance of survival because red bats are common in the area.